Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today is a friendly reminder to those people who are struggling with the fans demanding that you post when they want you to post. Your real fans will understand, Brad's won't, and will demand you to post for their sake. Ignore these toxic people, keep on doing what and when you post, only for your own sake, keep on doing you. I saw a YouTuber posted that he had a few entitled brats who wanted him to post when they wanted him to post and he reminded them that that is not okay I do what I want when I want it and I felt you know what that's uh, in my alley and I also needed to make a video on it even though I never experienced this yet on my YouTube, however, I did experience this outside of YouTube. So, what happened was I posted something about uh, tell me what photo you want me to do because I was running out of ideas and Instead of doing it on my time, they wanted me to do 20 or 60 photos as a set and they wanted me to do all of those photos all at once for them. And I am like, you expect me to do it when you write the, um, the note saying, you want me to do this right when you send that note at the matches to me and I'm like people have jobs people have lives you cannot expect me to do 80 photos right when you tell me that you want me to do this set of photos right when I respond I will get to it when I do and then you tell me is it ready yet is it ready yet and I'm like you are an entitled brat who expects me to do it on your schedule rather than my own I'm like, nope, you're a toxic person and I will not be feeding into that toxicness anymore. And so I didn't. I stopped uh, requesting people to comment new ideas for me because they want 80 or 100 photos all at once. And that takes a lot of time and effort to do it. And... A hundred photos, one after the other, it's not going to be good. I pride on quality, not quantity. However, with, with that being said, on YouTube, it's <laughs> a quantity of videos because I love posting. I love doing what I do as a spirit blogger. Every video has a different type of matches, therefore you will expect to get quantity. I watched a YouTube video say, only post 25 videos at top-notch quality and see your view, your subscribe count go up, then post another 10 videos to boost that and I'm like, you're crazy. Who does that? I mean, if you're into a food blog, you would. But as a gamer, 
as a spirit blogger, as a whatever it is, you're going to do what you want, when you want it, despite, oh, only do 25. No, I'm not going to post more than just 25 videos. That's just stupid. So it's like, eh, bad advice. <laughs> kind of. I mean, that's kind of like saying he's an entitled brat and he's telling you, giving you advice on how to grow your channel. But he said, oh, only focus on quality over quantity and only post 25 videos. And I'm like, you're crazy. Who does that? For me, every YouTuber that I have followed have over 10, over 25 videos, over 50, over 100. They're not stopping and their quality is good. I mean, better than mine, but everyone has their taste. Everyone has their own, how they make their own videos, etc. So, yeah, that's kind of like saying to me, oh, only make 25 because I said so. I'm an entitled brat and I'm going to go in to tell you what to do. I'm like, that's just bad advice. So, ignore. And yeah, that kind of just fits in with this uh, video topic for today. Um, side note. Still testing the new overlay and my new box for the text to indicate what this video is about and seeing if the view count goes up because the thumbnail will have the text in it so you know it is a different video than before. And I kind of really like this effect that I did. Again, I got this... Uh, from a YouTuber who I just recently found. He had a, a frame. I kind of just made my own box, the shape that I needed it to be for the uh, text. And I used a different gradient almost. And then I added uh, the black box part for the what the text sits on. Because if I... If I do this, then the text will be hard to see if this is not on. So, yeah, that's a side note about that. Good. Almost 10 minute video. Not bad. But yeah, always make sure you follow what you want that is in your heart and your soul. Never listen in to the outside forces unless you align with it. Leaving the toxic and negative energy out. So, for instance, if you tell me an idea that you want me to do and I say, hey, you know what? That's a good idea. Let me try that then it's okay because I want to do that idea that you gave me. If and only when I align with it. Just saying. But that's um, the, the end in comment. And so until we meet again.